Hello and welcome back to the grimdark reality of the uh, 41st millennium. My name is Saika and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on legendary difficulty with uh, Grandmaster mode enabled. Time for a bloom assault <clears throat> where we will need to protect our sanctified servitors and we'll need to win that mission without any ranged craft. And if we do that, we're going to get two, um, uh, two requisition and potentially great war gear slots as well as great armor. But not so much in for the apothecary, I'm still looking for the next librarian, but I haven't been successful. So, taking our same team, because we want to level them to the maximum level, we're going to take everything that lasts multiple rounds, uh, purification being one, and uh, an extra armor being another one. This here for uh, tough spots as well as willpower to refill our librarian if needed. And I think that we're in an exceptional position to, uh, to get that uh, completed, uh, complete mission going. What I will say is I don't think that we need to extract as much as um, we're typically extracting. So how about we're taking that autoloader skull. And uh, let's see if that does anything for us. I guess we're okay. Let's give it a go. Good. Analysis. This hive city is currently under siege by the burgeoning war of the Orc war boss, One Chief. The seeds are our priority, Commander. Everything else is a distraction. Unfortunately, I concur. Our resources alone would not be enough to put down even a small war and continue our campaign against the Blue. Cool. <clears throat> Yellow seeds. I like that. And I like that map, map setup. It's one of uh, the denser ones. We got enemies from the top and enemies from up here, which should be fine. Let me think about how we want to go about it. Uh, we do have the librarian, uh, which means teleportation is going to be easy mode. And I have to wonder if maybe the best course of action is that everybody's just going to go down here, kill them, and next turn the librarian is going to teleport us to another place. Interceptor moves up. I'll keep the librarian kind of over here so that we theoretically can teleport um, up there next turn. Good, and we're going to pop a couple of our strategies next turn. Taking point. Taking point. Oh wow. Lots of chaos uh, marines here. Enemy has five reinforcements left. So Here's the thing, right? Um, we do have two extra stratagem users. <clears throat> I want to put in Tides of Shadow and Higher Sanctuary. You know what? Why not? Let's start with Tides of Shadow. As you can see, we can reuse it in three turns and higher sanctuary. 
good we now have 100 percent resistance and three armor and we can reuse uh, the 100 percent resistance fantastic um as for you going to put in warp speed biomancy yeah and i think it's time to clean up this mess back here this here would be perfect for a grenade to push uh, them over Unfortunately, that's not how it works. Um, we could guarantee the crit, but that would not work. But this, on the other hand, is a fine hit. Ah, so close. My blade is ever ready. Okay, moving to here. Come on. You, my dearest friend, are moving to here. And I think we're just using a combination of damage <clears throat> as well as our bolter to kill this guy I don't want to use any other actions or resources giving the apothecary back a few of of the willpower points that he has used to serve. Again, moving into position. Ranged weapon immediately goes. Yes, Commander. Bit of support fire. Ah, he's immune to auto uh, mobility, so I remember that. We're continuing to move up. Again, we're going to teleport potentially next turn. This plus support fire. Cool. Works out very well. One. Ah, we can't get him fully down. That's a bit unfortunate. But we could get his melee weapon. Good, he's weakened. The crit allows us to continue. And we can even kill him, that's uh, helpful. Normal strike. We use quite a bit of willpower, but we're okay. It was worth it because now we can uh, prevent any retaliation from his side. For the Emperor! Taking point! Taking cover! No! This can't be happening! <laughs> Ruin! 
But these guys are still holding the position very well. The guardsmen are safe. Okay. They come to their doom. That is super far away. Good uh, mm, gate for us. Matter of fact, maybe one of the best gates that I've seen in a while. What is your will? As you command. But we're getting back. You have been judged. Yes, Commander. We're getting back our uh, our willpower. Uh, our yeah, our willpower on the interceptor. Could theoretically teleport in there. I'm not sure if I would want to do that. I think we're just going to stay here for one more round. Yes, Commander. Good reload on our bolter. Oh, we had autoloader skull. Oh, cycle. Come on. Well, it doesn't. It doesn't make a huge difference now, but still. Bit of a reload here as well. What is your will? Good, just in case someone comes up here, we should be fine. Position secured, Commander. Good. I don't think that uh, these guys will trigger. Good. If they come a little bit closer, uh, we should be absolutely fine. right into here that's that's good they haven't triggered this new team here yeah we'll just be a blip for now this is interesting as these guys might overrun us on this side so we're going to see librarian Gets everyone in. We have that auto going, and I don't like it, so we're going to disrupt it. Auto is still going. Uh, when hit with a ranged attack. <coughs> it will immobilize. Okay, uh, we don't want that. Your orders. So what we're going to do instead is... I'm not sure if this I here will trigger speed. immobilization. Okay, it be not, right? Nice, we have 100% affliction resistance, so we can simply ignore the fire. <laughs> At your command.
It still don't want to mobilize. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit and kill this thing. Well, we lost so many hit points, but let's take this here. Could be because we're standing in the fire, but you know, it's an average day for a space marine, so what do you want me to say? Fire is the new normal. Ranged weapon needs to go. So wait, did we take damage? Oh yeah, we're taking damage for standing in the fire. <sighs> that is so unfun. Even when you're shooting in the fire? No, not when we're just standing there, right? Well, even if we're shooting in the fire. All right, lesson learned. Don't send in the fire. Gratitude. Even with a hundred percent affliction, it's no bueno. and lots of damage. I don't like it at all. Next time, Saiken, don't fight in the fire. That was no bueno. What we can do though is we can move up to all the way to here. Moving doesn't swiftly. trigger the new pack and next turn we can fight them I sense the enemy converging okay so Almost there. Let's teleport in. We will not protect. Ha! Look at you guys. Found you, peekaboo. We're going to go to the side of shadow and because I feel a bit adventurous uh, we're doing strength of spirit this turn. At your service. Ah, can't get to him. That's unfortunate. Me. 
You know, it's a bit of a waste, but we do have enough war points, so... That's okay. We're still at, like, what? Eight uh, war points, so it's two more teleportations if we play it right. You command. I am here to serve. Range weapon needs to go. <clears throat> I like that. More crit damage. have any more reloads so auto reload it is this time I will make use of the auto reloader Reload the librarian. Okay, that auto reloader, if you use it right, it actually works fantastic. Straight up murder him. And hit that uh, thing. My blade is ever ready. Who's getting the kill? Uh, I think our Stand librarian, w uh, our apothecary, was the one with the least experience. So I want to kill him all kills if possible. Ready to serve. Also, free reloading to you, my brother. Uh, did we get an extra seat there? Am I seeing, what is your will? Am I seeing this uh, correctly? Advancing. Oh yeah. Unleash me. Good, next up we're going to teleport down there. Next, we're going to teleport down there. <clears throat> no more seats in any of these locations. Might as well just follow. All right, it's going great, uh, but nothing else was expected because uh, this librarian interceptor justicar apothecary combo is yeah. just madness Join the ranks. second last set of reinforcements yes commander With me, my Our salvation has arrived. Listen, no one has been revealed yet, and that means they can't act, which is an yes, absolute Commander. blessing for us. So there's a chance that if we're using this here. We'll just get a warp point back.
In the meantime, we're getting warp points back over here for collecting seeds. Man, our team is really, really strong. Good, just end turn. <clears throat> We're good. Slaves to unholy purity. <laughs> oh, a couple of melee guys. Interesting. Foul heresy, Good, I think that's the last. Reinforcement pack. Okay, cool. These guys will take one more turn, so let's not wake them up. Let's see, will give us access to both of their packs. Hello there, wonderful. So, good. What is your will? These are not stunnable. Are these guys sustainable? Apparently not. Interesting. Uh, do we have... Did I miss something? Maybe... <clears throat> Maybe one of these, the Relentless Host. Okay, uh, they, if, be it as it may, we just can't stun them. Starting with taking these things apart here. An easy kill. At your command. Continuing to auto load, uh, auto reload ourselves. The auto loader has definitely paid off so far. definitely get uh, this guy or alternatively teach this guy a lesson but I think we're just going to stick with plain old bolter to the face mechanic yes, commander. melee weapon needs to go and that's no more blocking for you. I am here to serve. Unleash me. There is the kill. And since we do have so many will points, might as well give you a little bit of uh, willpower and some extra actions. One. That 
could be a kill. It is not. Four points of damage. We're using our first Halo Skull. These two are taken out. Ready to serve. Let's just kill them. Glory to Zyphos. One. And kill. Teleportation. Unfortunately, does not allow us to get anywhere close uh, and regain our will points. So we just need to work with what we've got. Which in this case will be ranged weapon disabled and an extra attack when they are moving to the Halo School. Apothecary has more armor so can stand in the open, take the fire. Can't take this guy though. Not yet. But could and should very well regain a willpower by just killing them. Because we need to spread the kills and the experience a little bit. And 16 experience is good. For the Imperium! Emperor, protect me. Good, let's ignore this side here for a moment. We are going to take uh, the librarian who needs to move to, I think, over here. And we don't have the time to just move there normally. So he needs to spend some of his real points in actually charging over. Good. We're in position for the next round. Praise the Emperor. We have no buff, but is almost criminal. That's not allowed. Yep, take the world speed buff. At your command. You're not allowed to run around without a buff. Face me. Beautiful critical hit. This guy has like what? Hmm. Yes, as much as it pains me in order to play it correctly, no, quote on. unquote. We will need to give you uh, the extra action points. And move 
move up. And yeah, the idea was to shoot over here so that we do have support fire, which Jet means commander. that we're holding even more XP on the interceptor. Foxless Cretan. We will not fail against this menace. <laughs> Brothers, strike for the chapter! Good. This will trigger the support file that I was talking about. I strike true. And we could start to reload, I suppose. The other alternative is get into position, into full cover, which is the better choice. Advancing! Shot confirmed! Drone! Firing on target! The Blade Guard protects! Silver dolls, shall we play together? Gotta deal with that threat. Ah, dying slowly, I kill him! him. So that's the last that's the last turn uh, the last uh, reinforcement good a little bit extra hits let's go baby Ranged weapon goes. And there's the kill. Another falls to the Knights of Titan! At your service. Advancing. Trigger support fire. Ammo depleted. Another kill. Glory to Zykos. And we're warp charging to get three more hits. Yeah. And willpower, of course. Good, so let's just assess the situation. Uh, we still got one, two more hits in, and two more hits with him. And these are just two enemies. So for starters, we're refilling the willpower. And we're getting right into the mix. It's Outloader.
Good, we're out of auto-loaded charges. That that was it. Scramming ready. Hit. Support hit. And we good. Fantastic damage, I like that. Librarian takes the kill. <clears throat> okay, cool. At your command. Armor break, we can affect uh, weakened. They cannot be stunned, so that's. That's not a big problem. Nice little crit. And short uh, crit for weekend. And that would not take him to uh, put him down. That's unfortunate. But we can, for one uh, will point, just transfer over all of our armor. And that means that thing is now in melee with uh, two people that have excessive amounts of armor. Puts up weak into everyone. I beg your pardon. Ready to serve. Armed and ready. Reloads. For the good old support fire. What is your will? Reloads I here as well. Mind you, once we're at it. Um, get weakened off of you. Gratitude. Oh, he was the guy immune to that support fire. Gotta hate it. Your orders. Are we also weakened? Yeah. This of course we are. My blade is ever ready. At your service. I am here to serve. Yeah. It's a bit wasted support fire. <clears throat> but your command. We're getting the kills onto the guys that typically don't have that many kills. Good. Where are the remaining? I think we only have one more enemy patrol. That's right over there. Fabulous. Good, a non warp charge teleportation gets the librarian nicely into a position where next turn we're going to teleport everybody over there. We have more bloom. Can we collect more seeds anywhere? No. Since we cannot do that, I have sanctified my round. We're going to use our turn to sanctify our rounds. And just patiently wait. Unleash me. We travel 
unseen path. Good. Let's try to not uh, give uh, all of the kills. To just one person. Face me. Melee weapon needs to go. Go support fire. Still very, very uh, viable. Good thing is almost gone. I am here to serve. Moves to here. Cloud of flies. Makes bolter fire a little bit worse than it normally is. But like I mentioned, we're going to make sure that the other guys are taking the kills. Not just the interceptor. That was good. Good, we don't got two requisition. Come on, I want good loot. So for starters, we have Seeker Skull. Uh, move to a target location within the range, reveal enemies without uh, being seen and inflict them for, with vulnerable for four turns. Um, hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking about it at the moment. I mean, that that's not uh, generally not bad. I'm, I would be <clears throat> interested which of our schools we'd like to replace with that. But the vulnerability is a good one. The vulnerable one is what makes it great. Range 25 is also super far. Four turns vulnerable. Okay, what do we have here? So, four armor, four hit points, eight hit points. Wow, that's a lot. 20% resistance, one will point is zero. No way, you can spend your hit points instead of will points. Okay, yep, that is a great armor. Uh, that is a fantastic armor, not great, it is ludicrously good. That uh, penchant is great. Uh, then we do have this here with Biomancy's lasting for an extra turn. Life giver. Generally a good weapon, I would say. I also like the heal that, that is fine, but the Biomancy started to become more and more important. Um, 
And oh no, it's just plus one turn, it's not plus two. The upgrade. Yeah, okay, I see. Uh, and then we do have uh, Foe Reaper's Mercy. Good range, good damage, normal blast damage. Afflicted targets will attempt to melee attack the source of the affliction. Okay. Which means they're coming for you. Okay. Yeah, hmm. Are we going to go for the Seeker, Seeker Skulls? I haven't tried them yet. Vulnerable is generally a nice condition in having every single pack uh, put onto Vulnerable. Improves clearing speed. The question is, would we, what would we take out? Maybe the Medikai skull. Damn, Fluffy made it all the way up to level nine. Yeah, it was a good run. Librarian made it up to level 8, and with that comes the Vortex of Doom. I really like uh, the Psionic Shriek, works more often than anticipated. And now we're up to Vortex of Doom. Two more willpower and then this would be eight damage for three willpower that's good that's very 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 good grell is doing well for themselves but now uh, with fluffy no longer around that has left a hole in our defenses so who's going to fill the set hole. Maybe we're just going to use our Paladin and um, make him become that melee madness. Uh, he certainly does have a lot of stunning that he could do. Not sure if that's the right way to approach it, but I could, uh, I could see Basically him taking something like that. Equipment, take this, so that we have enough will points to continue to slash and slash and slash. Uh, the shield, I don't know, man. Uh, currently we don't have a great shield. Having that storm border instead. And as a melee weapon, as long as he can put willpower in, that is a lot of extra crit damage and a lot of crit. When this unit crits, it has also a chance to gain an AP. Uh, that's a good weapon in itself, Final Justice. Whilst we're at that, I wondered whether Dan our Justicar, who is currently wearing normal Terminator armor with uh, actual just normal armor, if you would want to try that morning plate thing, which grants almost as much armor plus 20% resistances. Then there's uh, Pentient, uh, which is great because he can just continue to cast and is immune to knockback. Good. And finally, I think we wanted to test out 
Absolutely. Nikki Zero's ability to work with uh, schools. Um, server school. The outloader was fine. Seeker has six ammo, which means uh, they are even good on other uh, on other characters. So we need an extractor school, which you hmm, that would quite hamper our uh, will points quite a bit. Hmm. I'm wondering, trying to potentially put too much into these guys. We need extractor skull and then the, um, the servitor skull. So that seeker skull, I'm trying to, to use uh, that. I wonder, just out of curiosity, If maybe we can solve that whole uh, situation. The Paladin has a few hit points, right? I would assume, yeah, 17. Okay. So how about Dan the man stays with his original plate armor, which wasn't bad. Like five armor is great. Uh, the Disruptor Skull is good for him and he has 15 uh, willpower. That's good enough. Our paladin takes this new awesome armor, resistances, and can use will points even if he's out of will points. And as a war gear slot, where we can give you either the seeker or the extractor. I think we need extractor because seats are too important. So let's give him the extractor, which just beckons the question who is taking the seeker skulls and I could see an argument why am I sticking with the Medikai uh, skulls they are a nice combination of no AP and the purify is actually for me a little bit more important than the hit point uh, upgrade but to be fair that isn't bad either and the Hala skulls are too good to just not use uh, use them so it feels like a bit of a waste to just re um, change that which logically only brings us to our um, front line and he could with his armor take a hit or two which is where the disruptor skulls are typically coming in so let's exchange the disruptor skulls for the seeker uh, skulls I want to give it a try and see if it uh, if it works out Good. Slightly different team comp. Uh, we're now going in with that uh, Paladin, uh, mainly also to power level him, but uh, also because uh, we do have a level 9 Interceptor with Fluffy. And I want to get the Librarian, the Justicar and our Apothecary Nikki to maximum level. And we need to make sure that our ship is not falling apart. Let's see if these Seeker Skulls are any good.
Advancing time. New bloom spread. So over here, uh, we get level three war gear. Oh wow, without any master crafted weapons or armor. <sniffs> that is a difficult glorious deed. Wow, that's difficult. Um, server skulls, power armor, just what we want. And we got in another interceptor. Uh, here we could get medical stuff. What do we have down here? Servitors, apothecary. Uh, that's not bad. I mean, this is servitors and we need servitors pretty bad. And up here. We're getting a purifier, a nice little halberd, and a grimoire. So, hmm. This here will open another chaos gate. Okay, we can only take one mission. Uh, and we could take this mission plus this. Here we're going to get uh, requisition. Uh, but this here would be absolute shite. Uh, if we were to do it, uh, that would be one, two, five. And we're currently at two. So we could get over here, theoretically, another uh, service school or power armor. This is power armor and not uh, terminator armor and a great storm bolter. I mean, that it can't really argue with that amount of loot. This here will open a stupid Hellgate mission. If we go there, we're just going to get a grimoire and that's about it. Fly to here and then to there. Listen, guys, as much as I like to do this, let's just check something else because our ship status isn't great and I don't want to lose a campaign because we lost hull integrity. We currently have nothing going for us and very soon this year will be done. And then we do have four servitors and I need to repair or improve. And without servitors, not gonna happen. So... It seems to me that we will need to do this here. Servitors. And that's pretty much it. Life is hard. It's not fair. There's another demon gate uh, coming up. And the problem here, you can already see it, is we have nothing going for us. Can't even repair. But we can attune prognosticers. That's pretty damn good. Uh, we have attuned prognosticars in a way that only this planet 
in this planet are not getting prognostic cars. Wow, that is plenty good. <laughs> okay. All right. Doesn't help us here. But it makes it slower so that maybe, just maybe, we can reach it. Likely not, but you never know. Commander, it is a shame you ignored my suggestion to visit the research station. Reports indicate... Good. Fantastic to be precise. Uh, we that that's an easy glorious deed. We can do it um, without much problems. And all we need to do is kill. Kill a couple of um, uh, spawn uh, blooms uh, bloom spawns. Oh wait, uh, it's two bloom spawns. Okay, so. Yeah, that's one of those bloom spawn missions. Okay, I see. But I still think we can do it. So in terms of stratagems, uh, willpower is good. I like this one here. And we have no equipment limitations. Uh, good old interceptor, unfortunately, needs to be removed. And we're instead having Torvald. Uh, Torvald needs a new name. Good. Longtime subscriber Jerangs made the cut. Uh, welcome on board. Um, can we get something with a Y as a surname? No, but Vortimer is nice. Jerang's Vortimer. That's a good name for Paladin. But it's going to cleanse the light. Fantastic. So, that's going to be our new DPS. Uh, potentially not going to be as good as the Interceptor, but we do have a librarian to get him in place, and all he needs to really do is hit things with a pointy stick. Uh, that should not be too difficult. That should not be too difficult. And uh, soon, Librarian plus Dan plus um, Nikki will be leveled up. And if, once that happens, uh, we uh, will exchange them bit by bit. And hopefully we'll get the new kind of team together. Um, which brings me to that uh, last idea. The new team originally was supposed to be created out of all of those additional classes, Paladin, Chaplain, um, Purifier, plus a Librarian, but I'm still trying to find the Librarian in order to make it work. We got Justicar, uh, Purgator, Purgator for kind of a ranged team. And we wanted another Interceptor. Um, we would have one here, Beltic Isset as an interceptor um, and I wonder should I recruit them now difficult decision because when a librarian comes around I would want that as well but it requires kind of an upgrade of our barracks but then again the question is when does a librarian come around and we currently do have two non-finished teams so let's get that interceptor which we now have interceptor purchaser purchaser and uh, justicar is our ranged fire support team yes, i want to see if uh, that uh, works out well so for you look at that 
plus two crit damage for all of the ranged attacks. It is as if the game knew what we were uh, up to. So we're going to go into that full tree. And then I would like this here to happen. Um, give him a bit of a Psylancer as well. Good, so point being, our team would be ready. Uh, our next team would be ready if needed. And I'm still on the infamous search for another librarian for our stun uh, team. But I want to play then a different comp uh, very soon because as much as I like um, funneling um, all of uh, the action points into to just one guy uh, that slices and dices their way uh, through the world, I think it is more fun to spread out the love a little bit. Um, for now, we're going to phase out all of uh, the, uh, the level 9 characters, or the 8s that go to become 9s. Um, for instance, the Justicar Dan will potentially give way for a temporary Justicar Epi, who is, uh, who is going to stand in just for a mission or two. Um, and then once Nikki Zero as the Apothecary hits level 9, then we're going to completely uh, change. The, the game will be a bit different once Grell hits level 9, which you can see first Dan will do that, then Grell will, will do it. I need to push uh, Nikki uh, to get more kills, because without a Librarian to teleport, uh, you are very reliant on your um, your interceptor to actually uh, uh, do the killing, and if we don't have an interceptor in the group, then that won't uh, work. The paladin or whatever we're putting into that melee slot only works if your uh, librarian uh, teleports them into position, which is why I consider the librarian to be potentially the strongest uh, class in the game, just due to the you know yeah well i shouldn't say that the interceptor seems to be just on par with that but those two are just incredible offenders uh, in mobility anyways that's it for today thanks a lot for watching if you like what you're seeing uh, then leave a comment and a like down below and help me cleanse and purge that like button that's important guys never forget and uh, see you in the next episode Bye bye